it's funny that just before just before I came on air with you, I had a I had a phone call from somebody to tell me that Mika is in hospital. Uh, he's okay, okay, he's fair. And the one thing that he was saying, if you get a chance, will you call up to see him in hospital? And I will in the next day or two, I intend to call up to see him. Uh, I owe everything in my footballing career to Mika. Um, Mika was, I wouldn't say that he was the father figure I never had, but he, I worshipped the ground that he stood on, you know. Uh, and people will ask me, well, what was so special about Mika? Uh, he was a man who gave me belief. He filled you with confidence and he gave you a chance and he left you off and he left me off. And we never, we were never critical. We, he never, in seven, six, 15, 16 years, he, we never had a crossword. He never gave up to me. Uh, myself and Bomber were his pets, maybe perhaps, because Bomber was a sort of pet project in, to keep him fit and get his keep his weight down. And I was his pet project who was brought in because he knew what he what he saw of me. I'd run through the wall for Mika. You know, if he asked me to do 600 laps, I'd do 600 laps. So when it came to early season training and some of the lads, Paddy and the boys had, had had put on a bit of conditioning, I would be brought in to act as the hair to run these lads um, and to speed them up and lose weight. So <laughs> I, I was that for Mika. But, you know, I've said it so many times that what Mika brought to Team Talks became my philosophy in life. And it's simplistic, but it's something I say to business people or school children whenever I meet them. In Mikko's team talks, he never spoke about the opposition and he never spoke about the opposition star players and how we could stop them. It was all about filling us with belief in ourselves, belief in our teammates and away we went. And that was Mikko. Our glass was always half full. We believed. We never could see ourselves being beaten. We believed we could win every game, uh, that there was no one could stop you. You were the best left corner back. You were the best right half back in Ireland. You were the best centre field in Ireland. And that was the attitude he instilled into us, which was absolutely brilliant. And it's an attitude I have carried all through life that despite any setbacks or tragedies or upsets in life, my glass is always half full. I will always be positive. And that's thanks to Miko. He was just uh, just, uh, just an absolute... Uh, I, I just want to the ground he was just he was just brilliant 